Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch on an increasingly dark and rather chilly January 24 day but we are doing a quick video for your delectation nonetheless on this absolutely beautiful uh, very very rare brand new 2024 just been delivered Wild Axe Aurora so this is a six meter Wild Axe Aurora it is the the rarest Wild Axe this is a collector's item so the Aurora is the fixed bed offering so they do an Aurora Leisure with an end lounge and a front dinette and they do the Aurora with a rear fixed bed and the front dinette and for some reason I think maybe it's because they're uh, better known as a British manufacturer of non-fixed bed vans uh, the poor old Aurora the fixed bed version always seems to be the one that you don't see so much on dealers forecourts now as our availability's got a bit better we've been able to throw some of the other models of Constellation XL some of the more uh, um, sort of non-mainstream models in but this is a unique fixed bed offering because it's a British take on the fixed bed van conversion meaning that um, it's got a good kitchen and a comfortable lounge which is something you miss in the European ones I've got to be quick because my phone battery is dying so have a quick look at the tape so this one's a manual gearbox 76565 for a top quality Wild Axe motorhome Wild Axe high-end luxury manufacturer from Yorkshire part of the French Rapido group um, building capable year-round off-grid capable well optioned high standard spec luxury van conversions but with a British twist so it's Fiat Chicago 2.2 140 this one's got a six-speed manual gearbox extra three grand gets you the nine-speed auto if you would order ahead six meters long 2.05 wide 2.6 2.7 tall 76 565 to this specification so this is the new spec wild axe and no gas tank anymore gas tank manufacturer discontinued the gas tank supply so this van now has Truma diesel and electric instead of gas and electric heating and hot water as standard it's now got a 12 volt fridge instead of a three-way one so when you're not on the mains it's always running off the leisure battery instead of your gas and it's got a soda panel as standard included in the massive standard spec so that means the only thing your gas is doing is powering your oven and so now it has a gas locker for a single six kilo Calagas bottle you could have a refillable one if you want but the only thing your six kilo Calagas bottle is powering because your heating and hot water when you're not on electric is running off the diesel from your tank which you've got 80 litres of and you can get everywhere um, so the only thing your gas bottle is powering is your oven so that will and your hob so that will last you many many months so LED daytime running lights are back they disappeared for two years they're back now as available again this one's R10 grey um, which is silver basically gun gun metal silver you can have uh, expedition grey which is a flat non-metallic if you prefer this one's got the optional Thule Omni store awning uh, standard awning light which is lovely double glazed flush fit windows electric step all standard alloy wheels full colour coding metallic paint all as standard part of the price this is a gas barbecue point, runs off the gas from your gas bottle and we spec all of ours up with that, it's a couple hundred quid, you might never use it but it's much much easier to get factory fitted than it would be to retrofit if we fit one of them just in case someone wants one. We've got high level reversing camera at the back as standard along with four reversing uh, sensors, all these things you have to pay for with other manufacturers. I've got to rush this a bit because I'm going to run out of battery but we've got the new Oyster Urban wood finish and fixed rear bed. Now this is one of the differences between this and any other fixed bed I can think of because it's a British van, European fixed bed vans have got water tank boxed in that side, gas locker boxed in that side so your storage is very very small. This is empty, that's because your fresh and waste water tanks are heated, insulated as standard, something else that's optional most brands, but they're under the van uh, and your gas locker is somewhere else. I'll sit in, we'll find it. <laughs> uh, so that means all of this is storage. Now this whole bed frame very easily folds away and clips up up there and then this whole area is storage. So if you're an antiques dealer or you want to take bikes, put them inside the van, just use it as a van, then you can do. Constantina blinds and flyer screens are standard. We've got opening windows on the back there. You can see it's got the diesel electric heating because I've accidentally turned it on there. So this is on full crank up mode. So you can see a little bit of, uh, of uh, heat haze out of there. Drain points for your fresh and waste water tanks. Pepcaset toilet dump point. Main hookup, single leisure battery and 120 watt solar panel included in the price. 
there are factory options for double leisure batteries or we can put a second one uh, lithium or full gas free uh, volt pack uh, with lithium and triple solar double solar lounge window cab spec Remis concertina cab blind to standard semi digital dash we've got the Multi-function Mercedes style three-spoke steering wheel, seven-inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Play for your sat nav. Climate control instead of manual aircon, that's standard as well, optional on most vans, or indeed not available for most manufacturers. Um, cruise control, speed limiter, stereo controls, Bluetooth dab, stereo, all as standard. Let's have a quick look inside. Now coming inside the van, aha, there be the gas locker. So gas locker there, and that will just power your cooker as I say. What's that? Don't know what that is, that's not even part of this van. But someone up. Fly screen door as standard, twin swivel cab seats, and then a single forward facing seat. So most manufacturers try and fit in two there, so you end up with two uncomfortable passengers and a very, very tight gangway. So Wild Axe realised. Let's just make it a three seat belt because it's only three berths. This slides out, joins up with the cab seat when it's rotated, makes a good size and surprisingly flat single bed. We've got the new lights around the Hecky roof light. Isn't that amazing? Flip up worktop as part of your very, very good kitchen. Table there, fit your three people around it. Nice big opening window, plug sockets, USBs. Storage over the cab, a panoramic front skylight is an option on these. I've got an XL, because you can have this van as a 6.34 metre van, which gives you a bit more sort of space, bigger fridge freezer and a microwave. Got one of them on order, which is going to have the panoramic roof lights. So speak to us about that if you're interested. That's an auto as well. New Truma digital control panel. I've not even had a play with this myself yet, but I need to work out how to turn it off now. Oh no, hit the unlock screen button. Room climate 30 degrees. Don't think we want that, do we? So we're going to switch that off. Oh, that was easy. Oh, we like this. Nice and easy. Turn off. Yeah, simple. Really good. Like that. Kitchen. Probably the best kitchen of any six metre fixed bed van conversion. You've got a proper oven and grill combi and then three gas burners on top. Plug sockets. More pull out worktop here to so look at this so you can have this lifted up here and also your person sat there can then use it as a table and then you've got all of that for prep space how's about that don't get that with a european van do you nice two stage touch screen touch lights should have put the lights on in the back first bathroom normal wet room affair fixed sink I like the fact that the shower hose is not a pull out tap ventilation in the roof Dometic ceramic toilet bowl toilet and storage up there you know here we've got a little tiny wardrobe but at least it's there and then underneath we've got a bigger wardrobe with your front extra table fitted in and you've got storage there for your uh, for your front table if you want to put it away and just put that little table on that round hole up there into the bedroom I need to find some lights here I need to ah that's better there we go all of a sudden she comes to life rear bedroom we saw from the outside but you've got high level storage cupboards for your clothes on both sides two opening windows and an opening skylight and your strip lights and plenty of other stuff back there as well four spotlights and yeah, that's it. So someone's looking at this earlier and they've left the glasses there. So I'm going to take them inside now. So this is the Wild Axe Aurora 6 meter at Highbridge Moat Homes Devon. Um, you can have it with an N-Lounge. That's an Aurora Leisure. You can have it as a longer van, a 6.34 meter one. That brings into play a bigger fridge and a microwave. Uh, you can have it with a panoramic front skylight instead of this storage locker. Um, so... Give us a call anyway, we'll chat about some stuff. 01626832792, hit the motorhome sales option. If we're out here with customers or doing videos, leave us a message, we will get back to you. Or call me direct on the mobile, 07432662558. Check us on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website or come and see us at Highbridge Motorhomes 
Newton Abbott Devon, we're midway between Exeter and Plymouth on the busiest, biggest dual carriageway in South Devon just after the M5 ends. Very easy to get to and if you're from further afield, you buy the van from us, you can pick it up from our Somerset branch, but you've got to buy the van from Devon, we're the wild axe experts in the group. So give us a call and ask us about the wonderful world of wild axe motorhomes. Thank you very much, goodbye.